Hey guys, Super Lego Dad here. Just wanted to make a video uh, building this set, the Nintendo Entertainment System. This is set number 71374, 2,646 pieces. It's an 18 plus adult set. Obviously, I believe Nintendo is for people of all ages, so uh, anybody could build this set, but this comes with the adult, all, adult box, all black. Here's the box art, the back of it there. Excited to see how uh, the cartridge goes in and out. Can obviously insert it there. The old TV, little rolling that makes the Mario go across the screen. I've heard there's a lot of great things, a lot of great details about this set, so I'm really excited to build it. One of the reasons I wanted to buy this set is because I grew up playing Nintendo and Super Nintendo and different games. I have a original uh, NES here, Nintendo Entertainment System. So we'll see size comparison when I'm done building it. Obviously, cartridges open up and close. I have a uh, original controller. So I'll see how those line up and the size comparison with those. And then uh, one of my favorite games is Super Mario Bros. 3. And then the game that the, this comes with is Super Mario Bros., uh, I have it linked with Duck Hunt, so uh, very excited to start building this, and I will keep making some videos as I go. I would normally line this all up on my Lego floor room and take a picture or whatever, but I decided to put it on my Nintendo coffee table that I built uh, in my game room instead. So there are uh, 21 bags, okay, which I always find it interesting that there's 21 bags, but then some of them have two bags two 21 bags or three nine bags or whatever. So um, there's 21 steps or 21 bags. Uh, comes with a plate. And then this looks like it's uh, obviously going to be the power cord uh, for the controller. Comes with a really nice uh, two stickers here. Okay, obviously that's for the video game, the cartridge. And that's for the back of the TV. And it comes with two large manuals. So it looks like we're going to build the entertainment system, the Nintendo, uh, the cartridge and the controller first, and then the TV. So about to get started. Here we go. Finished book one, the Nintendo entertainment system. A lot of really cool features in the set. I'm gonna show you a couple of them. Obviously, love the controller, uh, all printed pieces, so no stickers on that. Uh, it actually comes out and attaches really easy. Kind of has a similar shape to um, the NES controller, original controller from the game. So that's nice. The system opens up, closes really nicely. Obviously, I have the power and reset button down there. The game cartridge is probably my favorite part of the set. Pops up, comes out. Those are two stickers, but really nice. Low on that part if you need to, to get the game to work. And it just goes right back in very nicely. Slides down. Closes back up. On the side, you got the audio and video cable where that would go. This is cool if I can get it off here. A little Mario scene, a little hidden Easter egg inside the set with the pipes. Very nice. This just goes right back on. And then the back, you just have the power cable where that would go. very impressed with this system. I wanted to do a little side-by-side -side comparison. Obviously you can tell which one is Lego and which one is a video game console. Uh, I'll start here with the controllers. They look pretty similar uh, in size. Obviously I think the Nintendo one is a little bigger but the details uh, are almost identical. I love all the printed pieces in this though. I'll say that again. Uh, the printed pieces are great. 
uh, not having to put a ton of stickers on those small areas are really really cool so obviously the cord for the nes is a lot longer than this one but i don't think i would want a super long cord especially since i'm going to display this and whatnot so that is the controller the games are inside here and i will say the lego set game comes out a lot easier than this game you really pull on that to get that one out of there the game cartridge for the nintendo is a lot bigger obviously pretty similar in shape and design though i think lego did a great job on this so that's that put this game back in here like I said, it loads and goes in much easier in the Lego set than it does in the Nintendo game system. Okay, uh, the buttons. I don't know how hard it would have been to make the buttons like actually press in. I'm sure there's somebody who can mock that and make it a better design. Uh, but I think Lego did a great job with it either way. Size comparison of the system. Uh, it's, it's probably, it's, it's a little, the Nintendo's a little wider. Obviously, I, I just think overall the scale's bigger on the actual Nintendo than it is the Lego set. So here it is from the top. Okay, but as far as details go, I don't think you can complain. I think they did a great job. Uh, even this little groove down here, really, really cool. They nailed that. The back here. I guess maybe they could have put a, another sticker there, but nothing to complain about in the back. And then back to the side, there's nothing on the side except for the groove. So that is the comparison of the Nintendo Entertainment System video game console and the lego set hey guys this is uh going to be called super lego dad's one minute review at the end of each set review that i do i'm going to start a timer i'll give you one minute uh of just my explanation of the set what i like about it what i dislike about it and all that good stuff so here we go the nintendo entertainment system was an incredible build every step of the way uh, I always felt like, wow, this is going to be the best part, or this is super cool. Uh, I especially love how it opens up and the cartridge comes in and out. Okay, I would love to buy uh, some more pieces to make more cartridges and make some other games, of course. Uh, ones that I really love, Bubble Bobble, um, Super Mario 3, Duck Hunt, things like that. I love all the printed pieces on the set. There are printed pieces everywhere. They look incredible, um, and I love that I don't have to put stickers on them which stickers just annoy me, and I'm sure annoy a lot of other people. So the controller, uh, as far as size goes, was very close in comparison. No stickers on it as well. I love how the pieces slide in. And one of my favorite parts of this set was obviously this opening up and having a little Easter egg of a Mario level in it. So hope you enjoyed my one-minute review. Time's up, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Hey everyone, if you enjoyed my video, please drop a like and subscribe to my channel. Thanks.